Hi, I am Father Joseph. I am a Combone missionary and I have been part of Anderson Township for the past 60 years. And um, I want to say something in connection with the celebrations of the 225th anniversary of this wonderful community. Um, when, um, first of all, um, who are the Combone missionaries and how we got here? We are a group of an international group of foreign missionaries and Catholic missionaries. And uh, in the 1930s, we were looking to expand from the north part of Italy to English-speaking countries because we worked in many British colonies. And uh, at the same time, fortunately, there was um, the Vatican ambassador in Washington who um, had been approached by the Archbishop of Cincinnati, Archbishop McNicholas, who was looking for priests who would work in the uh, parishes of the West End. And so it was a um, happy um, meeting of minds because when our first men came to first New York and Chicago, they weren't sure where they were going. And then finally, Archbishop McNicholas accepted us in Cincinnati and gave us those parishes. But soon we were working, um, we were looking for a place where to open a seminary for young men who wanted to become missionaries as well. And in those days, seminaries were built in quiet, far off country places. And lo and behold, we chose what was then uh, we didn't know about Anderson Township in those days. It were, this place was called Forestville. And uh, it's interesting that now this stretch between um, 275 and Five Mile Road was a quiet country place where we could build a seminary. Um, Beachman Avenue was a small two-lane highway leading nowhere. Uh, we could take pictures standing, and we have them standing in the middle of the road. So um, Archbishop McNicholas helped us through friends in this area to find a piece of land, 65 acres at the corner of Nagel and Beachmont. And the 60 years, and so many, this was in 1947. And uh, we came and there was a beautiful building. The place was an evergreen nursery. That's why we have so many beautiful trees. And behind it, there was an awful lot of uh, land that was not cultivated. And I believe there was a reason there was a contract with either the government or some um, other major institution that advised to do that. So we built a seminary. We built Sacred Art Seminary right in the middle of the property. And it was built at different stages. Um, and you could see it from Beachmont Avenue uh, up to a certain point when eventually buildings and uh, businesses were built. In the course of time, it housed um, hundreds of young men who were uh, thinking of becoming missionaries and join us in the foreign missions. And then when the number declined, this became eventually the center of our activities in the States. So that from this point, um, even though it is tucked away, away from, uh, from Beachmont Avenue, um, we are in touch with the entire world every day. We um, support mission projects in 40 different countries. We bring news from 40 different countries. We um, have contacts with the United Nations, and we spread this word about this word about mission from this place. Uh, eventually, we ended up selling most of the property, um, and so that we still have, but we still have probably what is the largest private green area in Anderson County. And people like to walk and come here to walk their dogs, to walk their kids, and to have a good time. One thing that has made us known in the area is our nativity scene. Uh, starting in 1947, when this place was uh, bought, we had students here from Italy, and they brought their tradition of building big nativity scenes with movable objects and with lights and shadows and songs. And they started in 1947, and we still have it. This past Christmas, we had close to 2,000 people who came to this property to see our nativity. Um, we hope to be um, here for a long time, 
even though this place is no longer the quiet place out in the country that it used to be. But we saw it grow. We saw the growth of um, the parish in Macron Heart of Mary next to us that did not exist at all. There were uh, no, hardly any houses in the area. Um, anything we wanted to buy, basically we had to go to Mount Washington. Eventually we thought civilization had come to Forestville when they built a shopping center in Cherry Grove. Um, so this is a little bit in a nutshell our history. From here now, even though we are small, we still have this world presence that puts Sanderson Township on the map, the map of the world.